I'm just traveling and I'm not driving. That is so stupid. Should I say, oh, I'm not talking. I'm just engaging in speech. Oh, sorry. Just catching up on a bit of essential reading. Is anyone reading for us? Ah, oh, cool, a dog being pulled over by the police. I didn't even know dogs could drive. Reminds me of the time my next door neighbor knocked on the door complaining that my dog had been chasing him on his bike. I said he can't have been, my dog can't ride a bike. Please subscribe. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. I'm True Farm on the North Carolina State Highway Patrol. Yes, sir. You know I might be stopping right now? Uh, no, sir. You know what the speed limit is on this roadway? Yes, sir. Which would be 55 for it? Yes, sir. You know how fast you're actually going? No, sir. You're 71 miles an hour. No, I'm not saying I'm disappointed that it's a person driving and not a dog. But if it was a dog driving, I bet he wouldn't have been pulled over for speeding. I'm sorry, say it again. Is there any reason for your speed this evening, sir? No, I wasn't aware I was speeding. I'm sorry. Do you have your license your registration on you, please? I do not. Sorry. I do not. In the state of North Carolina. In the state of North Carolina. Seems we would have been better off if the dog was the driver. Uh, I do not need a driver license to I drive. I'm traveling. I cannot hear over track. I am traveling. I'm not driving. I'm traveling, sir. Oh, my mistake. So you're the passenger then? Because unless that's the case, I can't think of a single country in the world where you're allowed to drive without a valid driver's license. And this I'm traveling, not driving excuse is just childish. Of course you're driving. Okay, um, in the state of North Carolina, it is state law if you're on a state maintained roadway that you're required by state law to possess a valid driver's license. And upon legal if request, I by was a sworn law enforcement officer, which what if, I am, if I was driving under commerce, I'm not operating okay. under. So, a, a, a company that I'm getting paid for. Just so I know I'm understanding it, is it right that sovereign citizens think they only require a driver's license if they're driving a vehicle for commercial purposes, like a delivery driver or a bus driver or a truck driver? That kind of thing. All right, so I'm going to have you listen to me for a second. Okay? Yes, sir. Because I've asked you for your license now. Yes, sir. Now I'm telling you to give me your license. Okay. This next step after that will be to forcibly remove you from your vehicle. Okay, I know what grounds. On the grounds that you've been an uncooperative dickhead like every other sovereign citizen I cover and it always ends the same way and this argument sovereign citizens have about only requiring a driver's license if they're driving for commercial purposes if that was the case there would only be a commercial driver's license there wouldn't be a standard driver's license for people that only need to be able to drive a car because you're in violation of state law okay I'm a state law enforcement officer I understand. enforcing state law I understand so, this can go one of two ways. Okay. You can either provide me the identification. I don't have it. I can give you my name, but I don't have mine. That would be my sufficient. License. Do you have a valid driver's license in North Carolina? I do. You do. Do you know your driver's license number? I don't. Is there any reason why you're not carrying it with you? No, uh, I was traveling from point A to point B. So you were driving then. You just said as much yourself. And in North Carolina, you must carry a valid driver's license with you when operating a vehicle so even if we conceded and said okay you're not driving you're still operating a motor vehicle and operating a motor vehicle is driving oh. i understand that but again i'm um, just there's a speed limit well under black law dictionary it clearly states i have to have a driver's license if i was working on a commerce Okay, let's look it up. What is a driver? One employed in conducting a coach, carriage, wagon, or other vehicle with horses, mules, or other animals, or a bicycle, tricycle, <laughs> or a motor car, though not a street railroad car. Oh, damn. Is it possible I've been wrong all this time? Let's check how up to date this information is. Oh, yeah, 1902. So not exactly current. You feel me? I, I'm not, I'm traveling from point A to point B. I can understand that I'm sympathetic towards you with that. However, this would not be the place to argue with that, okay? The place That's to fine. argue would be in a courtroom. Okay. okay. So, if you would, I need you to provide me with your full name, your date of birth. Uh, 
under my fourth amendment right I'll... who would have thought that this little buck i only paid two pound for would come in so handy was it the fourth amendment he said <coughs> <coughs> the right of the people to be secure in their persons houses papers and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation and particularly describing the place to be searched and the person or things to be seen there wasn't a single word in there that said you don't have to give him your driver's license when it's a legal <laughs> Gonna be overexcited. I'll try that again. I didn't see anything in the Fourth Amendment that says you don't have to give your driver's license to a policeman when he asks you to do so because it's a legal requirement. I prefer not to uh, give out any information. If I'm not I've lawfully already arrested, I've already asked once. I'm not telling you, and I told you. What I mean, did I commit? Or... Did I commit a criminal offense? Actually, yes. Did I hurt anybody? Did I injure anybody? You committed a cr uh, criminal offense. Yes, it's actually a misdemeanor in the state of North Carolina. Speed of travel on it. At 71 and so in a 65. Right in a 65. I mean, uh, I'm sorry. It's 55. Am I right? This is 55. So right now you're putting me in jeopardy by standing on the shoulder right now on the roadway. I don't really. Hey, you can come on this side. Over. I understand that. You can come on. I will move in there. I come on. It. I want you to feel safe. Okay. The longer we stand out here, the longer I stand out here. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just traveling. I'm not driving. That is so stupid. Should I say? Oh, I'm not talking. I'm just engaging in speech. <laughs> Today's dad joke was brought to you by the people who say I talk too much in my commentary videos. I, I'm, I'm just doing everything by the law. I understand that. And the I'm law states by the Black Law Dictionary. And this is another thing that sovereign citizens always get wrong because they're really, really stupid. It isn't actually the law. It's a dictionary that people who study law use to understand and look up legal terminology. And I understand it. Do you? I don't think you do. Nor does any other sovereign citizen. Okay. If you don't allow me to do that, you will be put I'm not arrest. stopping you from doing anything. I will take you out of the I'm not stopping you from doing anything. You got the plates, you can write the car ticket. I'm not stopping you from doing anything. I don't, all I think I'm doing is court the law. Okay. All right. So are you going to provide me with the information or not? I just need a yes or no. Before you answer, I'm gonna let you know. If you tell me no, that's fine. You are well within your rights to say no there. But, but there's repercussions will, though, there right? There's so then there's I have, I but then I don't have a right. Did he really just say that? That because there's repercussions, he has no rights. What planet is this guy from? Well, then my rights are, well, then my rights are, are, are taken away. I just want to make sure you're fully aware of the, the, your consequences of your actions, okay? So as long as you're fully aware of that and you make your choice, that's fine, okay? Okay. I just want to make sure. I just, I just want to do everything by the law. I just by the law, I want to do everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to do it because I don't want to, I don't want to, 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 to agree to having a business with your organization, your co cooperation. I, I don't want business with you. You feel me? Well, here's a novel idea for you. Stop breaking the law then. I'm freely, I'm traveling freely from point A to point B. You have the right to, you actually have the right I'm to. not working oh. under, I'm not working under any, any, any employment right now. I understand. You have absolutely every single right to travel. Yes, sir. Without driving license. Okay, I, so what's the problem? I.e., you can walk. <laughs> I knew there was a reason I liked this cop. Absolutely 100% right. You can travel anywhere you want at any time of the night or day as freely as you want to you could cycle you could walk you could be a passenger in somebody else's car but you cannot operate a motor vehicle i.e drive it without the driver's license no i'm not gonna walk this is my personal my personal property right here why would i have to walk for a ticket for a civil ticket this is a state maintained highway okay that i pay for that I pay for. Whoa, 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 whoa. If you're a sovereign citizen, sovereign citizens do not believe in paying tax. And wherever possible, they dodge tax. So how the hell can you possibly claim that you pay for this highway? Unless you're lying, you're not really a sovereign citizen and you're just a twat. Yeah, tax dollars. Right, maintain. right. So why do I need a walk? Because I, I don't want to present my ID. State law, state law 
Has a speed limit. You have a supervisor? Because do you have a supervisor? Safety of others. Can I speak to your supervisor, please? Of course you can, Karen. And he'll tell you exactly the same thing. Or she. Maybe he might know what I'm talking about. Right I mean, now, you can write a ticket. Okay. I'm not stopping yeah, you from saying, doing so your I'm job, sir. Patrolman. Yes, sir. How it's patrolman right now. In there we got, all right, can you call the sheriff deputy? Supervisor? They are, I have no, I'm not with the, the sheriff's office. Well, you, you, need, you need a supervisor when a taxpaying citizen asking for a supervisor, sir. I'm going to take the, the continued, even after I've told you what the consequences of your actions are, I'm going to take that as you're lawfully or unlawfully refusing our... I'm not unlawfully doing anything. I'm doing everything by the book. I'm trying to do everything by the book. But you're not the way you. Hmm. Let's examine the evidence so far. So point one, he says he has a driver's license. He just doesn't have it with him. And he's refusing to present something he doesn't have with him. Very strange behavior. But clearly not really something a sovereign citizen would do. Because a sovereign citizen would just say they don't have a driver's license. So there's one douche point. Douche point number two, which he's going to get, is because he says that he pays taxes for, you know, the highways and whatever else tax dollars are spent on. So there's his second douche point straight away. Plus, I'm going to throw him a creaky bonus because he's getting on my thrappany bets. And as we're about to find out, it seems I'm not the only one whose nerves he is getting on. What about your under arrest? <laughs> for what? What am I under arrest for? <laughs> I give you my name right now, right in citation. Cause there's no, I got three dollars inside this car. I, I got, I'm not arrested right now. You are under arrest. Not lawfully, not lawfully, sir. <laughs> Can you just call your supervisor? That's all I'm asking. How? I'm not, I'm not, what's wrong? What resisting? Resist means physical. Re resisting means physical. But you're not being compliant. I don't have to be compliant, sir. I don't have to answer your questions. I don't have to answer your questions. I don't want, I don't want you to get physical. I don't want you to get physical. I didn't want it to get this point. I tried to work with you. I got three dollars in here that might attack you if you get physical. That sounded very much like a threat to me. If it gets physical, I've got three dogs in the back that might attack you. And I know exactly what's going to happen now. All the crybaby sovereign citizen sympathizers are going to do what they usually do when I release a video like this. They're going to leave comments. Oh, Creaky, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Creaky, you're not even an American. This is an unlawful arrest. Well, I've got one, th maybe two or three things to say to all those people. Kiss my balloon knot. My chocolate starfish. What I'm trying to say is kiss my ass. But I can't unarrest you. So. Well, then, if you can't unarrest me, call for a supervisor. I'm a please. Yes, sir, please. I'm just asking, please, Listen, I'm call for a supervisor. Before. I'm going to give you your options. I'm going to let you make a choice for yourself because you're a grown man. Yes, sir. Okay? Option one. Yes, sir. Would be for you to comply with me, step out of your vehicle, and go with me. So <laughs> Why, why is this got to be, why, why is got to be straight to arrest though? Really? Straight to arrest? It's far from straight to arrest, pal. My video is nearly 14 minutes long and I've edited loads of it out. This has been going on quite a while. It most certainly has not gone straight to arrest. You can walk back to the back door, Yes, sir. My phone. Do you have anything on this I don't. I don't. I'm about to check the pockets. I'm not going to search you. I just want to make I mean, I'm done. already arrested, so I mean, you're going to have to yeah. check me regardless. Can I put my cigarettes inside the car? There's nothing in there. That's fine. You can put the cigarettes in there. And I got a lighter too. Yes, sir. And now we have a few minutes of black screen and muffled voices because like every other Sovereign Citizen video, it always ends anticlimactically. Unless, of course, we're lucky enough to see them being tasered. <laughs> but sadly, today is not one of those days. Anyway, watch this next. I put so much work into this video, I was absolutely gutted that nobody chose to watch it. It's Umpa Villies from a 3 million subscriber channel. It was very kind of him to offer to work with me and nobody watched it. What the hell, guys? What's going on? It was a good video. It was funny. I enjoyed making it. Please watch it. I beg if you want me to. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Take care. Love you. Bye.